British Columbia, the westernmost province of Canada. Here, an intricate network of inlets and islands make up over 25,000 kilometres of rugged, mountainous coastline that borders the Pacific Ocean. This wilderness is home to some of Canada's most iconic species, from bald eagles to oyster catchers, who scour the rocky shore for mussels. Black bears forage for food within the intertidal zone too, as mollusks are exposed at low tide, providing valuable protein following a winter of hibernation. While sea lions, they search for fish amongst the kelp beds offshore. In land, snowmelt produces freshwater rivers and meadows that support a variety of life, from grazing mule deer to the tiny Anna's hummingbirds. Coniferous forests provide year-round cover for the region's more elusive wildlife, seemingly the perfect place for this great horned owl family to raise their young. Even if the parents have to keep a watchful eye. This region receives over one and a half metres of rainfall every year, providing an abundance of water that's required for the growth of the flora and fauna that inhabit it. This supports everything, from plants and insects that dwell on the forest floor, through to mosses, lichens and ferns, and even the towering trees that make up this forest. With a network of freshwater streams flowing through this luscious habitat, one local resident has learned to use them to their advantage. In this pocket of woodland, a stream has recently been dammed, held back behind this intricate construction of logs, mud and sticks to form a freshwater lake. Spanning 40 metres across and with a depth of over a metre, this lake has been built by an engineer that now calls it their home. Living in a lodge that is only accessible from underwater, this world is home to Canada's largest rodent, the North American beaver. With webbed feet, a flat scaly tail and thick fur, this semi-aquatic herbivore is built for the water. Weighing in at up to 30 kilograms and growing to a length of two to three feet, their diet consists solely of vegetation. Trees surrounding their lake make ideal construction material for their dams and lodge, while the soft inner bark layer, known as cambium, provides essential nutrition. They eat two kilograms of vegetation every day and are the only mammal capable of digesting cellulose thanks to a unique set of microorganisms found in their large intestine. Flaps on their ears and nostrils protect them while they dive underwater. Thin transparent eyelids act as goggles, allowing them to see. And long whiskers on their face are used to detect obstacles when in the water. By damming this stream, this beaver has transformed the forest here into a large wetland of deep pools and slow flowing water, altering the river channel characteristics in the process and benefiting the downstream environment. The dam holds back water upstream and consequently reduces water levels in the downstream reaches, helping to reduce flooding during periods of intense rainfall and increase the deposition of sediment and nutrients here too. Small streams in this region are a critical habitat for fish, particularly salmon, who travel upstream from the ocean in late autumn to lay their eggs in gravel depressions known as reds. With a warming climate, river temperatures have increased in recent years and pose a serious threat to these temperature-sensitive species. However, 
Recent research has shown that the presence of beaver dams counteracts this warming, cooling water temperatures by generating increased groundwater upwelling zones within the pools of wetland areas upstream, and cooling surface water by as much as 10 degrees Celsius. With salmon populations in Canada facing unprecedented declines, this small ecosystem shows that beavers can and will benefit these critical but sensitive habitats of British Columbia in the future.